Our first step is to connect to Snowflake. Looking for a code-free approach to data preparation, I can run call and prepare data directly in Snowflake without data movement and to get data insights before the modeling process begins. This capability leverages Snowflake speed and elasticity. And the SQL that is pushed down can be extracted too for any additional use. Another approach for code-first users to use data robot hosted notebooks and work on a familiar Python syntax. Data robot hosted notebooks can also be used for code snippets, versioning, and simple environment management for rapid AI experimentation, increasing your productivity. I will continue the data preparation with a code-first approach. After we load the libraries, we connect to Snowflake based on the environment variables I have defined, my Snowflake credentials. I'm going to use Snowpark for feature engineering. Snowpark is a developer framework where I can work on a familiar syntax. In this example, Python. Snowpark pushes down processing to Snowflake to run consistently in a highly secure and elastic engine. Here I'm creating the session object that represents Snowpark and a data frame that references the data in Snowflake. To show an example as part of feature engineering, I'm creating a new column to determine if a transaction was long or not. First, I need to define the function. This is the UDF. And then I can execute a function on my data. The computation is happening in Snowflake using Snowpark for Python and without any data movement. With Snowpark, I can also leverage Pandas data frame. And just to show you an example here, this is the distribution of the target variable is fraud. Now my data is ready and I can move to the training stage. You will see me moving between both UI and code to show you that everything is possible for your own convenience and preference. Setting a training project with data robot notebooks is as simple as configuring our target variable is fraud and execute. To speed up the demo, let me just load a project I already trained. Data robot is like power tool for data teams and one shop to track all of your projects and artifacts. During the training process, the platform trains different models in parallel. And here we can see that DataRobot trained 18 models ranked by the log loss metric. The selected models are changing in every AI use case, and they are from a variety of open source, DataRobot, deep learning, Eureka models, with different sample sizes and features, including automated pre-processing steps. And it's all customized. You can edit feature engineering steps, customize training pipelines with your pre-processing steps and algorithms. Let me get the best performing model here, which is a DMTK model. Besides the model, DataRobot offers explainability and insights. We can see out of the box graphs that can help us determine the model performance, like leaf chart and our C curve. And I can see the same from the UI and export them. If I'm already in the UI, I can show you how the model was built. Earlier, I mentioned we include automated pre-processing steps, which all of them have documentation. And here you can add your own custom task and pipeline to the flow. If we are talking about documentations, it's very useful functionality that I heard from highly regulated customers is data robot automated compliance documentation. Creating compliance documentation is a long and a heavy task, but is essential for highly regulated industries. The report includes appropriate level of information that is necessarily for regulated companies. Besides of the model performance and the likelihood for a fraud transaction, we can get insights on what drives a fraud transaction on a macro and a micro level. Feature impact, this is the macro level, recognizing which factors are most important to model outcomes we can understand what drives a higher probability for a fraud transaction. Feature effects, this is the micro level, the effect of changes in the value of each feature 
on the model's predictions while keeping all other features as they were. Now we're ready to move the model to production. I would choose to deploy it using the DataRobot API with a single click, solving the inefficient machine learning between data science and IT world. I want to deploy it to Snowflake with a seamless user experience from DataRobot user interface. First, the Snowflake prediction environment and to set it up. This means that DataRobot will completely manage and automatically control this prediction environment, including model deployment and replacement. On the backend, looking at a Kubernetes cluster that is powering. We can see that the management agent is now running and we have a health indicator in the GUI. Going to the model registry and look for the actual deployment. You can pick where to deploy it. And here we can choose Snowflake and create a deployment. Again, we will be able to see the work on the back end. And here is the prediction snippet that you can use to actually run predictions on this deployed model inside of the Snowflake interface, leveraging Snowpark for Java, for speed and elasticity, and without data movement or managing infrastructure. Here we can see the SQL is being executed with this model deployed by DataRobot. To make sure that the business decisions are aligned with external internal factors, you need to monitor the model performance and understand if you need to replace or retrain it. DataRobot provides the flexibility to do that with models that are deployed in platforms outside of DataRobot, such as Snowflake. This allows customers to leverage DataRobot machine learning production capabilities with the flexibility to choose different hosting environments and support putting more models into production. When we are defining the monitoring job to read past predictions or actuals from a database table, DataRobot will monitor the predictions and the actual values and organize them over time in our monitoring engine to track data drift and accuracy for the model. Now you need to specify the monitoring options only predictions, only actuals, or predictions and actuals. Once you have defined the outcomes to tracks, you can decide if this job will run immediately or on a scheduled basis. This decision is based on your business rules and how often there is new data. After we executed the immediate job, we can see that it's been executed and completely successed. Now you can go and check the data drift and accuracy with the DataRobot MLOps dashboards. These out-of-the-box graphs will change over time and can help determine the model's accuracy.